Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. About to get into part two of the first display update of 2011. Shout out to my man, the King Beastman. I got first place in the second uh, battle show. Battle show three is running right now. So some big things for articulated comic book art this month. I got a big announcement in the next two weeks. Uh, a lot of things happened in this year. As far as the Wikipedia page, we did have it up for a brief moment and we basked in the glory. But they took that shit down because we didn't have the proper references. So, now as far as I got your message, any help would be greatly appreciated. Um, like I mentioned before, my man F3RPQS is the current articulated comic book champion of the world. When I send him something in the mail that I'm still trying to get together, that will be the indication that the next uh, contest is about to kick off. And then I'll have some, some, some big announcements too. Uh, working on the Facebook page right now. I'll definitely be getting on Twitter in a moment. A lot of promotion going on for, for ACBA uh, this month uh, and throughout this year, man. So just stay tuned for that. And let's get into this. Something else here, a little more simple. Uh, just a war room that I've been working on. This is something that I'll probably leave up for a really long time too. I want to get a brick wall back there and fix that and maybe lay a floor down in here. I don't know. I need a chair here at my workbench. Still a lot of things I could work on. Uh, Deadpool's little uh, Indian cigarette plant right there. It's the little custom Ant-Man checking it out. And... Uh, so yeah, I really, really like this. Unfortunately, on my camera, the other guns and stuff that's up all around here is not showing up too well. But, but there, there, Deadpool and Taskmaster in here, and a lot of people have been asking. This, uh, this gate is from the UFC Octagon. Uh, it stands on its own. It's not. I'm not doing anything. I just put it together and put it into this shape of a little cage. And I actually didn't even use all of the uh, the gates that came with it. It was still like three that weren't there. But I mean, if you buy more than one, you can make. A huge one if you want to. It's, it's up to you. But it's the UFC Octagon, the regular one, not the electronic one. And right here we've got my little war room that I could use for Deadpool or Punisher or whoever I want. And this is a work in progress and something that I will change the figures every so often and add more weapons and different things and put together different scenes here. So really, really proud of this. I, li I like the way it is. It's very simple, but I think it's real nice and clean, as some of you say. More army builders here, a couple of more Hydra agents. I got, you've guys seen this before. X Force sneaking up on the Hydra agents. I kind of think I captured their kind of uh, motions and stuff pretty good. This guy's kind of trying to tap this guy, like, oh shit, something's happening back here. These guys not really paying attention. They're kind of goofing off and talking and what have you. So um, I got the, uh, the black X 23 coming in the mail next week. Uh, probably get her customized. I, I do have that figure, but I only have one in package. For some reason, I had traded the other loose one that I had. I don't know why, but I definitely want to build the, the X-Force before this most current Uncanny X-Force. And then I got original X-Force here, kind of sneaking up on Deadpool. I guess he was just kind of in there, layer and was just doing some stupid shit Deadpool would do, just hanging out. And he just came up on him here. I definitely want to build the rest of this team with Shatterstar and Will Spain and... Uh, um, uh, boom boom I definitely want to get those customs or maybe we'll get them from Hasbro in 2012 I don't know uh, but a lot of people have been asking me about this furniture and stuff and if you go on eBay and you look up anything that's in 112 scale you will find tons of things that you could use accessories the actual dollhouse furniture can get expensive but a lot of the little accessories and things can be cheap and you could uh, put together a pretty decent collection of those accessories pretty pretty quickly um, so yeah, what I was thinking about with this too is I remember when I was young and that first uh, run of, of X-Force or X-Force 1 through whatever, at some point um, Deadpool had like snuck into their uh, lair and he had fought Domino and like kind of beat up real bad or whatever, but it's kind of what I was thinking about here. Even though there was no fight, that's kind of what was just on my mind there, but just a little X-Force thing here and some more of my... Alright, we my got own. a little Wolverine uh, collage here showcasing a couple of different Wolverines. I have the Astonishing X-Men Wolverine from the Apocalypse series. This is the variant, the unmasked variant. He's supposed to have a little hood hanging off the back of his uh, his neck there, but 
Um, I had originally sent this this figure to Solid Snake so he could remove the hood and use it for the custom Dakin that he did for me. So at some point I got to replace this guy and what I will do is cut the claws off of this guy and have him in a completely relaxed state. I got him facing off against Electra and some of the uh, White Hand Ninjas. These are my only White Hand Ninjas here. Wasn't really too interested in building them at first but I kind of like the way they look with the white suit Electra here. I've got two of her, one still in package. She came in the Urban Marvel Legends box set. Um, and uh, this is kind of just reminding me of Enemy of the State a little bit. If you've never read Enemy, Enemy of the State, it's a really dope story. I would definitely check that out. Then I got the uh, Weapon X Wolverine right here, surrounded by some of the people from the Hulk vs. Weapon X uh, cartoon. And um, this is a really dope figure to me. I really like this head scope. A lot of people use that head scope to uh, customize different Wolverines. He came with, with two uh, interchangeable heads or what have you. And... Uh, Omega Red is a really dope figure too, man. If you don't have that Marvel Legend, he is a sick, sick figure. Deadpool, of course, everybody knows is a sick figure. This is the uh, Saber 2 from the uh, first appearance uh, two-pack with, uh, with Wolverine, which you'll see uh, in a moment. And uh, Lady Deathstrike back there from the Onslaught series. Then I got my brown suit Wolverine, just over my, one of my last brood pieces here. I have two complete brood queens. This was just one single piece that I had, so I had Wolverine kind of defeating this guy. And I think my man Dalen757 has sent me this last part, so I'll try to finish it up and get three complete brood builder figures. But just a little Wolverine cube here. This is three different Wolverines. I'm waiting for one in the mail today that'll put me at 20 different Wolverines and three X23s. So. That's what we got going this on. This was just a little Hulk collage cube. Um, a couple of the figures that's supposed to be in here I had used in different displays. So this is kind of just in limbo. Uh, in the San Diego Comic Con She-Hulk, this is you can actually change her clothes into her like business uniform. The regular abomination, I took the coat from the Joe Fixit Hulk and the hat from Joe Fixit. That's what you see there. And the variant back there catching some Z's. I never showed this uh, little um, <clears throat> um, uh, Bruce Banner, but he came with the Gamma Punch Hulk. Doc Samson, the Conehead leader, Modoc builder figure, and uh, the Red Hulk builder figure getting uh, punched out by the hood. This is a custom for my man Solid Snake. Uh, he just doesn't have the hood, but in the pages of Avengers recently, the hood put the beats on the Red Hulk. I definitely want to get another Red Hulk and uh, and get him customized and get his uh, fingernails and toenails painted and get a little more detail on him, but I'm going to leave this one as is, but just a little Hulk cube. Nothing serious. A couple of my X-Men villains right here. My full brotherhood. Haven't really showed them all together in a while. Um, Onslaught build a figure, Blob build a figure, and uh, Mojo build a figure here. I really like the look of the Onslaught build a figure. I just hate the arms. I don't like the arms that they can't move down properly. Somebody else, you, you guys tell me if you guys have that problem too. I really like the Blob build a figure from Hasbro. Uh, that's my favorite saber tooth there. That's the variant. Uh, Magneto from the Marvel Legends box set. I uh, got a couple of Pyros. Uh, I definitely want to get another Mystique. I've had quite a few of her over time, but I only have one now. And uh, X Men Classics Avalanche there. And a Series 1 Toad, which goes for Buku Bucks online, but I don't really know why because it's a terrible figure. But just somewhere for me to house some of my ex villains and when I want to pull one in them out and put them in a, in a display. Uh, here's my little 90s X Men display versus Apocalypse, my Apocalypse Builder figure. Had quite a few of those over time, but this is the only one that I uh, still have. Um, I always keep my 90s X-Men together. I still got to add Beast up in here and maybe get a custom of Jean Grey in, uh, in her 90s uniform and Professor in the hover chair, but this is sort of a work in progress and something that I'll probably end up leaving for a long time and to remind me of, of what other figures I need. I would love to get another Rogue. I uh, got a couple of Gambits. I uh, had a couple of those... Uh, the X-Men Classic Cyclops, so I need to get another one. Uh, got quite a few uh, versions of Colossus like that. Got a couple of Iceman. I need another White Storm. Uh, I got both versions of this figure. This is the light blue version. There's also like a darker color scheme with a more angry face. I like to use that one uh, with Apocalypse as like his Angel of Death or what have you. But uh, like I said, something simple, nothing crazy here. I like the way Gambit is looking like he's throwing the card. But Wolverine, Iceman, kind of ice in the floor under Apocalypse's feet there. So, real quick, some more JR stands here. I got one under Apocalypse's 
uh, up in his his butt paws. Uh, but he's also kind of leaned up against the side there, and his foot is planted on the on the on the ground here. That's just to kind of keep him keep him sturdy there. But again, it's not damaging the figure in any way. It's it's up against the the back of the of the buttocks there, and just kind of just supporting him uh, there. And then I've got one uh, behind Rogue there, which you can't really see. Like I said, I just love the way the stands look, uh, where it's it almost. It's just like building a display in, in a way. It's like a, it's not too it's not too much of an eyesore to see the stand kind of sticking out there. I also have one uh, sticking up into uh, Storm's hair there. She supported really nice, and her feet is kind of leaning on the glass right there. It's not damaged her in any way. Like I said, you guys got to figure out how you're gonna do it where you don't mess up your figures though. And I've got one in the pelvis area of Colossus as he's kind of like galloping. Or running there, or what have you, but again, it's not not harming the figures in any way the way I have it set up though. This right here, I like to call this free fall. I went kind of old school with this look, and I got a whole bunch of characters that people don't really even use a lot, um, just kind of falling in a big fight. Uh, this is something that I definitely like to expand on, but I want to show y'all this in a raw form and show you some more possibilities for these stands. Uh, now these guys are not really supposed to be about to touch the ground here. This is really supposed to still be mid-air, but you know I had to get in, into this one cube. This is definitely something I like to try on a larger scale. Maybe take out all the glass plates and have them a bunch of characters falling and have debris and all types of things. But um, like I said, I use these characters here because I think these are a lot of dope figures that people don't really use too much. And I got two more people that I like to get up in there somehow. First appearance thing, which I think is a dope figure. People don't mess around with him too much. And I got man thing here, which I think is also a dope figure and people don't mess around with him too much. So I just want to show y'all this in a raw form and, and show you kind of how I built this. But, um, of course I started from the base. I used, uh... Uh, the Wendigo here, which is a which is a pretty dope figure. And if you haven't checked out my man Hulk Smash Everything's video with the Wendigos fighting Hulk, sick. That made me want to get more Wendigos too. So I definitely want to get a few more of those. But I've got one under his leg here and one in the very back uh, where his hair is back there. If you know about that figure, this figure has like a gap in between the hair and the neck. And he's totally, totally supported. He is the base of this whole thing. And I've got one flight stand in the back of Wolverine's back. He's got a peg hole back there. He's just kind of on his own. I've got Hulk holding on to his head, but he's not supporting Wolverine in any way or being supported by Wolverine. Um, uh, Hulk is actually being supported by Wendigo, who's, like I said, is very sturdy. He's kind of leaning on his uh, on his lap there. And I've got one flight stand under Hulk's leg there. But the three of them are very, very sturdy. As far as Kazar, he's got a peg hole in his back, and he's there. Um... Shauna is uh, got a got a um, flight stand up where her hair is. She's totally supported. She's like the only one falling with grace right here. Uh, Sasquatch is a really really dope figure that I don't see people uh, using displays too much. He's holding on to Hulk's chest there, and then he's got one flight stand under his leg, and then his leg is resting on the side there. And Sabu has one in his mouth there, and one under the joint and the leg there, and he is just suspended though. He's not really touching anyone. But I kind of wanted to get them kind of sideways, kind of falling. And like I said, I just went old school with this, uh, with the look of these guys. And I think it came out pretty nice so far. So definitely something I want to expand on and definitely showing you some more possibilities. Like I said, these stands could just be used for just building, man. Just like it's, it's, it's almost like the frame of a, of a building almost. And then you'll add your little details and things to kind of hide them a little bit more. But I just want to show this in a very raw form and show y'all all the possibilities, man. But like I said, I think this is coming up. Here's a figure that I don't get a lot of a lot of shine. Not too many people I see display this blade. This is uh, the movie blade. It's the Wesley Snipes. But, I mean, you could still use it as your Marvel Comics blade. He's actually a really dope figure, man. It's a nice articulation. And uh, it's, I mean, it looks just like Wesley Snipes too, but it's, it's actually a really dope figure. I don't display him too much either, but got him here with the scalp. <clears throat> scalp and Morbius right there, but I had took him out so I could use his, his jacket for Doctor Strange. Right now in the comics, Doctor Strange is not really rocking the cloak. He's been rocking regular clothes. I was just testing out the jacket to see how I might look on him or whatever, but I don't know if I really like that, but 
display fake is actually really dope. I don't, I haven't displayed them too much over time, but I want to give you guys a little sneak peek into how he looks. <laughs> 